Hello everybody, my name is Steve Splat, and I just wanted to make a quick video in regards to, I'm not sure when this will go up either, today's Monday, either go up Tuesday or I don't know when this video will go up, but at the time of this recording, yesterday was the Bethesda, uh, the Bethesda E3 conference, um, and I feel like I wanted to, I should have, I should do like a follow up to the, my thoughts on Fallout 76. Um, video and there will be an annotation somewhere up here um, or for a link to that if you want to watch that video um, so my thoughts on the Bethesda conference <laughs> it was kind of a roller coaster um, the <laughs> the really awkward concert by Andrew WK for Rage that was kind of weird I mentioned to one of my buddies that, like, it seems like Bethesda doesn't really know how to do a conference, because, like, last year was, like, next to nothing, except for, like, Wolfenstein and Evil Within 2 and then, like, Creation Club, but then, like, I don't know, it's just, they, they present really weird Bethesda. Um, but basically, my main focus for watching it was for, obviously, Fallout 76. And, Yeah. <laughs> Um, Fallout 76 is going to be an online game. It's, well, an optional online game, um, where you could just play the entire thing solo, or you could play with a group of friends. It's interesting that it's four times the size, excuse me, four times the size of Fallout 4. That is amazing. Um... Sorry, I'm just like going off a uh, stream of consciousness here. That's amazing that it's four times the size, but I feel like though, because it's, I don't know, I'm getting the same vibe um, as like Elder Scrolls Online for 76 because it's such a large map. And I know Todd talked about like loading, rendering is much better. Like you can render however far distances and stuff. Um, and I mean, graphics don't make everything, but like for me, the essential part of a, any Bethesda game is the graphics. Um, but I'm not sure unless, I mean, I'm the only impression I have is um, like just from what they showed at E3, it's not too, it doesn't seem like it's that graphic heavy, but um I don't know, because I feel like it's going to be very similar to Elder Scrolls Online, except Bethesda's making it. Um, and I was bummed out when I first got Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, I don't play it anymore, but I played it for a little bit, and the graphics weren't anywhere near as Skyrim, and I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, but with Fallout 76, I mean, it's obviously the same character models and everything, graphics engine from Fallout 4. Um but in a multiplayer setting, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. I I wasn't really happy that it was going to be multiplayer. I mean, it's both solo and multiplayer, but I don't know. I just, it didn't sit with me, obviously. Um, but then he started talking about it more, and I'm like, all right, maybe I can get into this, and I'm kind of mad toward it now, but I'm, I'm going to get it either way, because it's a Fallout title. Um, but there's that. I don't know anything about Starfield. One of my friends is, like, really hyped for that. An RPG in space. <laughs> um, what else was there? Oh, Elder Scrolls 6 tease. That's about it. And then Elder Scrolls Blades. I... I don't know, this seems to be the thing with this year's E3. I mean, I didn't watch the Xbox or the Microsoft conference, but I watched, like, majority of EAs, and it's like they really pushed the mobile game. Bethesda's kind of doing the same thing. I'm just kind of wondering why that trend right now. Um, why push for mobile games instead of pushing for bigger titles, unless they've got, like, next to nothing for bigger titles? Um... I really loved, uh, just kind of going off topic a little bit, I loved the very special edition of Skyrim where you could play it on your Amazon Alexa. That was hilarious. 
Um, but to go back to Blades, it's weird that they're going to launch it first as a mobile game, and that's going to come to consoles and stuff like that later. It's kind of like, why start at mobile and then move to consoles? I don't know. To me, it I don't know. It was really weird. And the fact that they're basically relaunching Elder Scrolls Legends. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and then Todd's like, oh yeah, and then you have to see Elder Scrolls Blades on an iPhone 10. It's like, okay. And then he's like, oh yeah, we're going to get it to like every device possible. So it's like, okay, so it's not going to be great on other devices if it's probably more or less developed for its high, highest level of performance to be on an iPhone 10. I don't know. Just all that kind of was weird. And then Fallout Shelter on the Switch and the PS4. I said to my buddy, like, why not on Xbox? I mean, I don't care about Xbox, but it's like, that's kind of weird to only have an exclusive for Switch and PS4. But I don't know. That, that was just kind of weird. But then um, I think that's mostly it. Just like 76. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting idea, I guess, to have like four times the size of Fallout 4 and have it be an uh, online game. But I wonder, though, if... Because like, at least from what they showed, it's like a four-person online lobby. I wonder if there's going to be more than that. Like, just kind of thinking of that off the top of my head. I hope it's not. I hope it retains to be a small group of people and it's not going to be like... Uh, like GTA Online size servers where there's going to be 30 people at a time. I hope that's not the case. I hope it stays down to a smaller number of people, maybe like 16 or something. I don't know. I just kind of thought of that off the top of my head, that that's kind of a thing that I'm not sure about if that's going to be good or not. If it's going to be just kept to like a small group of people. So like say you have your own private server, for just like you and like three friends, is that going to be the case? Or is it going to be more again like GT Online where there's 30 people in it and they're kind of doing whatever they want? So basically, from what they show in the gameplay, you can get codes to nuclear missiles and they could just like fire at like any random person they want. It would be just mayhem like, um, like GT Online. But I don't, but for like a Fallout thing, I don't think that should be the case. Like it is just pure chaos. So, I don't know. Just, again, more thoughts on 76. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, if you guys... Let me know in the comments if you guys did watch the E3... Eh, the Bethesda E3 conference. And let me know what you think or your thoughts on 76 or any other title in general. Let me know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it and to subscribe for more content. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.